Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. As you can see, Penny Mac has decided to respond to one of our clients. They didn't respond to us, they responded to one of our clients. So they had the date here. I blocked that out purposely. Here you claim to respond. You responded on December 16, 2020. The date here was different. However, not counting the day of receipt, we look to the foundation of the response. You documented that you are responding to a correspondence received. That correspondence had a specific address to which communications were to be delivered specifically. You received the power of attorney and thus, supposed to be THUS, chose to ignore. Now, we've taken the opportunity to highlight certain portions of your communication which documents your acceptance of the agreement between the parties. What are those things? The letter is a correspondence from December 12th. Ladies and gentlemen, give me one second. I got a vehicle approaching and I just want to see whose it is as they approaches and drives on by. Because I got the cameras and everything and I can, I can seize them. And I just wanted to seize them. You know what I'm saying? All right. Back to the correspondence sent to David Spector and his office. Here you mentioned that you were responding to a letter received December 12th. My research confirms that Penny Mac previously responded to similar concerns in July and October and no inf new information was provided, really. Because I know this information that I'm talking about now was not provided in July. Anyway, you are advised that Penny Mac is officer, employees, agents, investors, and vendors do not consent or agree. So they understood exactly what the communication was that included the arbitration clause. They understood that exactly, and they chose to backdate their instrument. They did that intentionally. Backdating is what the companies do. They'll mark their letters saying this and that, but... The problem is, it doesn't matter. You see, where they messed up at, hold on, let me show you. This letter's in response, so that means they responded. They accepted the offer. Hold on now. How did we prove they accepted the offer? Because they responded. Because they had a duty to respond. That's how we know. That's how we do things around here. All right, just letting you guys know that you're going to get letters like this with companies saying things like unfounded no legal validity uh considered legitimate or lawful they're, they're gonna say stupid things like that it doesn't they don't get to determine what's legitimate and what's lawful who are they penny mac is just a company who are they to determine what the law is excuse me say it again to yourselves they have no jurisdiction in fact your views are not recognized by any court of law or administrative, administrative, administrative tribunal within the United States. Excuse me. I don't understand what the person's views are. Ladies and gentlemen, all we're doing is highlighting, uh, let's see, down here. The Act of June 12, 1945, subsection number 2, specifically documents that the collateral security for the loan is the note. And when tendered with the local Federal Reserve agent, such constitutes satisfaction of the obligation. You will be receiving further communications and correspondence regarding this matter. Please be careful as to not disregard your obligation as an organization or individually under law. So y'all be careful now. This is a four page letter. I'm only showing you one page because you don't get to see the response. Okay, that, that's not y'all business. That's not y'all business. That's not y'all business either. And ooh wee, this certainly ain't y'all business. This is the banking thing I showed y'all yesterday. So we just, we minimize it. Everything, everything, everything is just being minimized because we got to talk to y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, the idea is, is that the corporation is supposed to be all powerful. Well, the corporation is not all powerful and we're about to give them a awakening because quite frankly I've had enough you see I said it yesterday and as you see it right now 
they allowed individuals to put out videos talking all this stuff and you had me coming on saying that's not true that's not true you can't do that don't do that no you can't go in there saying that you heard me doing all of that because it was a setup they put the information out there people vapor money creating money out of thin air now there is a creation of money out of thin air the banks get to create their own credit that, that is not a lie and the credit is money it is dollar for dollar pay attention someone just sent me some information about banks and lending money and uh, credit and how the loan is paid and so forth ladies and gentlemen this is how the system is set up this is how it is designed it's designed and set up this way purposely with that being the case y'all need to pay attention do not be afraid of their threats once you challenge the debt it's a challenge debt there is other information that must be included that's what those other four pages were talking about and that's what the other documents are that they're going to be received we can't put everything in one document that's why we have over 18 documents why because they have to say specific things so when we take these idiots to task they don't have any footing see the only thing they can do is send you copies of a contract well okay that contract is from years ago show me where that contract hasn't been satisfied because i just showed you where it was satisfied okay what 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 you know that's what we're doing so what you sent showed me a copy of a contract that contract has already been satisfied here is your proof now show me where it hasn't been satisfied you don't have no proof that it hasn't been satisfied all you're doing is parroting what somebody else said ladies and gentlemen Remember when I told you about how the courts went after SAA and kept saying all kind of negative things about them? Okay, you don't mess with none of my organizations that I found and think that that's going to be okay. We're going after each and every one of those courts. Getting ready to hold the judges criminally liable for their ignorance. You see, as I told you guys, go back and look at our arbitration agreement. You'll see the actual case text where the arbitrator is immune. They can't be called to testify. They're incompetent for testimony. So why did the courts do it? Why are the courts doing that? Why did the courts attack? Because they needed to ruin, at least attempt, ruin the reputation of SAA. I don't think they understood. The people coming to SAA were primarily from this channel. Oops. So how could you ruin it? So... I just wanted to take the time. This video definitely will be short. I got two meetings today, so I got to go. Y'all, hey, take care of yourselves. Out of here.